Welcome to the Moms I Know with Sheila Walsh Denton and Maria Anderson Farner. Two moms on a mission to reclaim childhood and take you from surviving to thriving on your parenting journey. Wilderness is not a luxury, but a necessity of the human spirit and as vital to our lives as water and good bread. Edward Abbey. Hi, this is Sheila. And this is Maria. And we want to welcome you to The Moms I Know. What a perfect quote to start this episode on camping with children. Yep, and that is something that we have both done. And what we want to talk about is really how, how you do it, you know, and kind of telling you how we came to it. Because for both of us, it was our parents who brought us out into nature. So Maria, why don't you start with telling you... Um, our listeners of what, how, how were you inspired? Well, I was so fortunate to grow up in a family where my dad would just take us camping. And one of his favorite places to go was Yosemite. That was a place that was very special to him and my mother. And so when we were old enough, he would pile us in the car and off we would go. And my dad grew up uh, camping and boating and fishing on the Columbia and Willamette, uh, Willamette rivers in Oregon. And he was used to pretty um, austere camping. And so we would have our sleeping bags and we had what was called back then tube tents. So if it rained, you could string a, a, a rope between two trees with the tent, which was basically just a tube of some type of plastic. But we just used those as ground cloths because it, it never seemed to rain when we were out there. And so in Yosemite in those days, we would camp in campgrounds. We would camp either in Curry Village or up at Tuolumne Meadows and just be sleeping on the ground. And I remember waking up in the night and watching bears walking past our campground. <laughs> but in those days, they were going for the, the dumpsters, the trash cans that were set up. And since then, they have really changed that because we know that we're not supposed to be feeding any of the wildlife. Uh, but I remember vividly just feeling comfortable and safe and Looking up at the stars at night was so magical and just seeing all of that and then hiking in nature. So for me, we, we spent a lot of time in Yosemite and in the Sierras and then in the teen years going up to the Sierras a lot and going camping with friends. And that was so special. And so I think it's this aspect of, you know, that quote is so pivotal because it is so important for us to be out in wilderness. Uh, nature feeds us. It feeds our souls. And I think that as human beings, we've evolved over all of these years out in nature. And so keeping that connection alive for us is so vital. I wholeheartedly agree. It's our, it's grounding, it's connecting, it's, it's soulful, you know, and for me, it's a nature where I feel my best, you know, where I feel the strongest. And it's always, it's always calling to me. You know, last week I had the opportunity to go camping with my daughter's class and I knew right away that I had to go because I needed some wilderness, you know, and then just this past weekend, we went for a over, quick overnighter, but that's, that's what I need. And it just, it just feeds me so much. And similar to you, it was my father who we got a VW pop top in 1975. I was three years old and first memories going camping. You know, I grew up in, in Marin County and growing up to Lassen and exploring all the areas around Lassen, going up to Mount Shasta, those areas like Siskiyou, really um, getting to know those areas every summer and just feeling free, feeling open. You know, um, you remember that game that you, you recommended the game sparked. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a game for women and everything. And one of the questions in it was what is something I think where you feel your best or where you, what is something that some people don't know about you? And for me, it is swimming in water, like, especially fresh water, like a mountain lake or even a river going down with the current. And that, like I, I answered in that game and I was like, that's what it is. And I think that comes from being a kid and doing that, swimming in those lakes. And I just, that's, that's my best self for me, you know? And so I want to give that to my children and be able to give it to more children. Because I'll tell you what, when we were out at the Pinnacles last week, some moms and I were commenting that it was hard for some of these kids because they are not exposed to it. And I think I want, I'm like, that's what I want to do. I want to get more kids out there. And how do you get out there? Because I think for people who have not grown up how we have, 
it's hard. Like, how do you do it? How do you camp in the woods? How do you cook? How do you go to the bathroom? You know, and there's so many, there's so many degrees of it, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm glad you pointed that out because the degrees of it, and, you know, for some people it's taking day hikes. For some people it's the, you know, the, um, the big camper where they, they're protected. For some people, they don't even know where to begin. And so, you know, I, I love that we have that similarity and the same thing, those mountain lakes and rivers. It's just, but I mean, there's, there's actual scientific proof about that. We do feel better in, on, and around water. There's a beautiful book. I can't remember the name of it, but it's about the science of why we well, feel- earthing. Earthing is like where, you know, you get the, the positive ions. Um, right you know, so from, getting, from the earth. We're getting that from the earth. We're getting that from the water. We're getting that from being out in nature and the fresh air. So, you know, it is essential for our children. And how do we do it when that hasn't been our thing? And so there's lots of different ways. We went on a backpack trip when I was a teenager. It was a parks and rec trip. And there were some of us that had done a lot of camping and there were some kids that it was their very first time. And like you said, it was really, really hard, but there's so many opportunities out there to get your kids out in nature. Yeah. So let's talk about like, let's see if we can give uh, some like really good ideas of how do you get your kids out in nature? So I think what you said, parks and rec, they offer sometimes backpacking trips, camping trips that are with skilled leaders. There are um, school trips, you know, like I said, um, how lucky am I that I'm in a school where there's a class set of tents and camping gear, you know, like, okay, that's, that's amazing. Um, in, I was in college, and that's when I actually we didn't do backpacking as a kid. I did we did a lot of car camping as a kid. But when I went to college, I was enrolled in a backpacking class. There are opportunities, and I know your kids did Outward Bound, uh, Knowles National Outdoor Leadership okay. School. Both of them did that trip, and you know those are those are amazing trips. But there's ways to do it where even if you just take your family out for, you know, the whole day on a weekend and just spend the day out in nature. But then when you want to go beyond that, I know your family really has camping. 